what to say, what to say. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Suck a D, VC. This poster definitely says <laughs> something. Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Just keeping it real. Definitely an improvement. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes, <laughs> thank you. I really liked your costume. Thanks. So? Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. I'll let you finish changing now. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here.
You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well? What the hell am I getting into here? Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. Everybody lies. I like that. I see humans, but no humanity. Everybody is somebody, but no one wants to be themselves. <laughs> Some preachy graffiti up in this train. I was supposed to read Huck Finn in English last year. Now I'm living it. Price one, Twain zero. All right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so, I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. 
Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Uh, okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. No way. Scared you'll lose? I'm just not good with people or things. It'll be fun. Trust me. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Uncle Swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? <laughs> so, pirate. Obviously true.
Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay, you say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. Well, sure. It's not for everyone. I get that. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. So, let's talk about this lead guitars business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call Lie on that one. There's no way you'd ever be a groupie. Okay, that's fair. Backup dancer. With vocals. Obviously. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. I hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Hey, wanna listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! 
No way! Scared? That's not the Chloe Price I know. Trust me, this is the only Chloe Price there- huh? Hey, it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. I know all the world's a stage and shit, but I'm not an actor. Really? I see you acting like you're tough all the time in school. I... that... damn it. This game involves spying on people from afar. Luckily, we got some high-tech surveillance equipment right here. Let's fire it up. That blows. Well, shit. That was my last quarter. You? Quarterless. Damn. Hey, maybe I can MacGyver something up. I've been told I'm pretty handy. Oh yeah? Let's see what you got. Rachel really wants to use this viewfinder. I'd love to get it working for her. Stop sextanting the interns. Just a day in the park with Rachel Amber. You know when something kind of amazing is happening, you don't always stop to think about it right away? And then when you do think about it, you start thinking about it a lot. 
And the more you think about it, the crazier it seems until pretty soon you're psyching yourself out and then everything turns to shit. Yeah, let's not do that today. I've always said the Prescott family has a couple screws loose. I've been saying sorry all morning. I admit it was really dumb to lock the keys in the car. You've been on me for three hours. My hierarchy of needs goes pot, then beer, then wine. Still, wino has a classy ring to it. Huh, looks like I might be able to pry it open with the right tool. Out of here, woodland creatures. Have some self respect. Bye, you fools. I guess nature doesn't quite provide. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. I wonder if I could use this to get the quarter out. Yep, it's official. I'm learning way more ditching school than I ever do in class. Hey, spare some change? Sorry, we might have some leftover food when we're done. What? No, I'm not. What kind of food? This place has really gone downhill. Shh. She's right there. I'm not getting in there with just my fingers. Maybe Rachel has something I can use? Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? 
I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Press got power, activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God! You just have the best ideas. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? I hope bees don't mistake my shorts for begonia. I've been pollinated twice this week already. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with these two? If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. You don't? What the <laughs> hell are they teaching you in school? Wow. That was dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Sweet beanie. What do you suppose she's thinking? Nature's Wi-Fi sucks. Maybe there's a squirrel family around here with broadband. If only I can guess their password. We love nuts, 69. Dingoes ate our babies, 13. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. 
Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Wait, you're a prostitute? But I'm a prostitute! Now who gets paid? <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you alright? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours, and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. I don't know. I might still be hungover from last night. Wrong answer. You don't ask a girl out and then and then not buy her a drink. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> Oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Should we check her pulse? Didn't you used to be a lifeguard? Give her CBR! Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble. Go get help. I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! I, I, I already called 911. They, they should have an ambulance here any moment. In the meantime, they said to keep close watch on her. Like, turn all the way around and really focus. Watch out. I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Oh, shit. That, that sounds like rabies to me. Rabies? <sighs> yep. Definitely rabies. Better pay close attention to make sure she doesn't try to bite you. Okay. Okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Wow, I'm all better now. You saved my life. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh, I guess I am. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I 
I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Whoa. Hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> <sighs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. I can work with that. Score. Here, if you really want to smash something, this should do the trick. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass. But seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait. Don't go. Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck.
Fuck. Are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? Exactly. You know, like, a friendship. But more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I'm sorry. I am really, really sorry. But... I can't. I can't. Even though I want to. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck this place. You know she's fake, yet you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Fuck off, Rachel. I've never understood your hard on for cameras, Max. You take a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David. Dad.
Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Hey, where's my marker? Oh, there it is. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. Dad used to hate it when I wrote on shit. I guess I did that? Sometimes, people need you though. Even when they don't admit it.
You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just, I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't, I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome and you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? 
Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on. 